Hey, it's Carl from Electric Bike Blog, and I'm here to talk about the Luna Apocalypse version 3 scooter, which I bought about six months ago uh, at the beginning of the COVID crisis, and I've been having a hell of a lot of fun with. So the Apocalypse scooter comes with three different power levels. Power level one is pretty... Uh, not that exciting for most people. Uh, power level 2 is pretty good and power level 3 is absolutely insane. So I only ride it in power level 3. You also have to press the headlight button to turn on the front motor, which if you want to have a good time, you're definitely going to want to crank up that front motor. So you can see on the motor it's printed a thousand watts. Uh, it definitely does more than a thousand watts peak. Uh, and the whole system runs at 60 volts, so the battery is huge. Uh, this scooter is definitely not light, but it does fold up and it fits in your car uh, pretty easily. It's got pretty big travel on the front and the rear, and Luna has been doing high-speed, high-performance scooters for as long as anybody, really, uh, if not longer. So they kind of got popular. Um, but to collapse it, you basically just release that and then move it up and then just slide that down like that. And then you can see um, it makes for a pretty small form factor. I think this is kind of the perfect tool for anybody that's living the van life or has an RV because it just takes up so much less spice space than a, even a folding bike. I mean, that's a pretty small form factor, but it is extremely heavy. Um, this thing goes, uh, I got it up to about 55 kilometers an hour, no problem, um, and I'm over 200 pounds, so it's insanely fast. The acceleration is sort of breathtaking. You really have to lean forward into the handlebars when you're accelerating. Um, it does have a headlight in the front there, and then it's got more lights here and here, and then it's also got a brake light in the back. It has extremely big rotors. Um, and this thing works pretty well on pavement. Uh, it doesn't work so great on gravel, although it does do okay. It's just It just has way too much power and way too much torque, and the wheels tend to spit out quite a bit. And you can see the brake lights right there. Um, it also has a security key fob, which I don't really like very much. Um, the Trying to connect to the key fob drains the battery slowly, which is something of an annoyance, so you kind of have to keep it on the charger all the time if you want to have it always ready to go. Otherwise, if you leave it off the charger for uh, a month or two, the battery will drain down, and when you go to take the scooter, it won't have enough power to, it won't be full, fully charged. So uh, that's the only thing I don't really like about this scooter. Also, when I got it, the rear brakes were super squishy and didn't work. Um, so I pulled the I pulled the rear rotor off, uh, the rear caliper off, uh, which was quite easy. It's just two bolts. And then I added some uh, mineral oil and then just sort of squeezed the brake a bunch of times and let the calipers come in. And it just didn't have enough fluid in it. So uh, other than that, I haven't had any issues. Um, it's fast. It's fun. It's over the top. Here's the brake lights. Uh, just want to show you, even if it's off, the brake lights work. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.